Hey guys, welcome back to another iOS development tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the global tint in Xcode. Now I've already talked about how to change uh, tint and what it is and things, but I didn't talk about how to change it globally, so across your entire app, which is probably more useful than just changing it in one button or one uh, text field. So if I just create this here, and you'll see that basically, uh, in case you don't know what tint is, it's basically the default color which any iOS um, item inherits I guess so if I just create a button here and I don't know where it displays no font uh, let's just fix that, let's just put it on system font and make it size 30 so you can see that that blue is, that's actually the default uh, font, I mean tint down here and if I change this, so let's say I wanted it to be red or something then you see the button's color would change and this is basically for every item here so if I add in um, another button or something like that then you'll see it's the same uh, color as this but you might want to uh, make this tint one of your app specific colors uh, instead of just being blue and it can be really useful instead of having to always change every single button so to change a global tint all you have to do is uh, you go to storyboard and uh, then you just right click on it oh I don't want to right click on that and you right click on it like this and I'm just gonna wait for this to load click show file inspector and then on the right over here you should get uh, this file inspector thing and then you go down uh, where is it um, global tin uh, where is it um, there should be a global tint option maybe it isn't available um, let me try again so show file inspector and then hmm that's weird I thought there'd be a global tint option here uh well is it down here or hmm that's very weird I don't see it hmm that's so weird well it's here uh, but this is for this view controller scene here so maybe uh, you can't I'm, so, I'm sure I saw it though if I try this again uh, name main dot storyboard okay yeah but now it's shown now it's shown a global tint option so I'm not sure what happened um, but I'm sure if you eventually start clicking on it uh, click this and then go back it should be there so yeah now that I'm on the main main dot storyboard um, file inspector is quite simple all you can do is you can just change this global tint so let's say I wanted it to be green so once I do that you see it changes there and the reason for that is if I go to this button and go back here you'll see that the tint has actually changed to default as the green so if I just go back to this file inspector, hopefully it works. Yeah, there it is. Uh, maybe I just didn't see it, but you can see that I can change this global tint to whatever I want, and then you can just change this to your app, um, your app color. So if you have like a theme color for your app, uh, then you can change it to this, and then every item inside of the app will get changed, uh, provided you haven't actually uh, modified this yourself. So if I went over to this button and wanted to actually override this then all I have to do is go like that and now you'll see this button is orange because I've overrided it but if I add in another button you'll see it actually becomes purple because um, this button is got hasn't been overridden so it just has the uh, purple tint, tint which it gave which we gave it earlier so yeah, thanks for watching, and this was basically how you uh, create global tint in Swift. Just going to center this button like that, and yeah, you can see you can actually override it pretty easily, but um, this is how you create global tint. You just have to show the file inspector, and you should have a global tint option here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye!